Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And starting this one is Corey Kluber. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Okay, all set to go. Leading off, Ramon Urias. Leading off the afternoon for Baltimore, the shortstop. Ramon oh, why the kick the pitch? Urias. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch, 410. The wind and the pitch. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Nope. Next offering down in the dirt. Line drive, base hit right field. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, the up against base. it with two strikes Jorge. right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Jorge Mateo now in there for strike one. Urias gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next nope. offering misses, and the count nope. even one and one. So now one and two. Next pitch in the dirt, and the count is two and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Kick the three two, and that's nope. ball, four. ball four. Batting third, the center fielder Cedric, Cedric Mullins, the Mullins. next to hit for the Orioles. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. And here it comes. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Lau. And two. In time to first for the double play. That is four. The first base is number six. Ryan Mountcastle. Here's Ryan Mountcastle.
First offering misses badly for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Gonna count one and two. One and two. Righty to the plate. Got him. Out number three. One left for the Orioles. Owes nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Grayson Rodriguez. How about a report on him, Chris? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Wander Franco. For the Reds. Not shortstop. Wander. The pitch. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. The 1 0. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Pitch misses, and a count is 3 and 1. And he hits a ground ball right side. On to first. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Singy, this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and, you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense. But make no mistake about it. Guys want to hit the ball hard, and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So... Regardless of how dominant the staff can be, the attitude is we want to go out there and have some fun with the bat. So we'll see. One big inning in this one, you know, could be all they need, but you'd like to have multiple big innings. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. And one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. The one, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And he deals. Lined, and that's a base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play Batting with two hurt. strikes. Off the, the bat, it was baseman. headed for the gap oh, all the way. And as a hitter, you love Boy seeing way. those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Austin Riley at the plate and takes high there. Throw to first, Ramirez dives back in safely. Another throw over, and he's back again. Ah. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hayes puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Batting four. The second baseman. Brandon. And now it's Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. That hits the dirt, and it's 1-0. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Left-hand hitter waits. That's in for a strike. Ramirez leads off first with two down to the inning. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. We head to the second here at Tropicana Field. No score. Back here at Tropicana Field, Anthony Santander at the plate. Leading off for the Orioles. The right fielder, Anthony Santander. Kluber back to work. And that's a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. Stays alive. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Batting six. The catcher, number 36, Adley Rutschman. Here's Adley Rutschman. And that's in there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. In the air out towards right center. Kiermaier has this one sized up. And there's two away. Batting seven, the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Two outs, base is empty, and now it's Austin Hayes. In there, and it's 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Not sure what's going on right there, no chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The pitch. Going to count one and two. Second inning here, no score. The next offering misses, and the count's even at two. Yeah. 
Next one off the plate inside. And it's three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three balls, two strikes the count. On the ground, out to short. Base hit. Man, that was a pretty good battle at the plate, and I'll Bad tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit DJ. like that. He kind of rolled over Stewart. on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now it's DJ Stewart. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. No score here in the second. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Lau sends it to first, and that is the third out of the inning. And the Orioles leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now up for Tampa Bay, Gavin Sheets. Leading off for the Reds. The first baseman, Gavin Sheets. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that's outside. That clips the corner. Down and in, moved his feet. And yeah, the right-hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Brings it in, and there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable Maddie, that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, fielder. he is going to be frustrated oh, with himself until his next at bat. Now it's Austin Meadows. And a base hit on a line. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So digging in, Nelson Cruz. Batting seven. The right fielder. First pitch, Nelson. and that's in for a strike. Ooh. One out, and a runner at second. Oh. Next pitch misses. One and one. And the righty deals. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Santander makes the grab, and there's two down. Batting eight, the catcher. Here's Mike Zanino. Zanino. Hey! 
in there for strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering is down low. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. Meadows on its second with two down. And the next pitch is way outside. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One left for Tampa. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now in Tampa Bay. And now the veteran third baseman, Rugnet Odor. The, Orioles, the third baseman, Rugnet Odor. Here comes a pitch. Ball. And a good eye there. Ball one, no and a pitch. That's Upstairs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Kicks and fires. Now 3-0. and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And a four-pitch nope. walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. The Here's time. the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Ramon, Ramon Urias. Ramon Urias. First pitch, just misses. Steel, steel, Odor steel. on the run. Swing and a miss. The tag, and he's out at second. Wow, what an incredible throw right there. He might not have had time to get to his feet and catch that runner. That's an incredible display of arm strength. Top of the third, no score. That one pushed foul. Next pitch is outside. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Man, that's a tough time to hit someone. Is he trying to do too much? Probably. He was just so close to getting that strikeout. Mateo stands in here, takes ball one low. Pitch misses inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And a 2-2. Good eye right there. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked.
Back to work. 3 2 now. That one fouled off. And a payoff pitch. Pulls that one foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but now I guess he it. saw it really well. Fielder. It's a really nice Cedric. plate appearance. Mullins. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Righty to the plate. And yeah, that's outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Runners at first and second with one gone. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Check swing, went around, and it's three and one. And the right-handers 3-1. And that one pulled foul. Stays alive. Two on, one out. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First offering misses the mark. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Check swing, went around. One and two. At the belt and fires. And now two and two. And now it's filled up. In the air, right field, Cruz under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and it's 1-0. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball, just couldn't get it to drop in. The right fielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. 
in this situation you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout I think you attack him in this spot first pitch and he just misses Mateo the runner at third Mullins on at first with two down Next offering misses. Ball two. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that one is lifted in the air. And puts the squeeze on that. And the inning is over. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Orioles one, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's Kevin Kiermaier. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track Kevin. balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Kiermaier. Rodriguez, back to work. And ball one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. Uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. On the run, throw to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The batter, number five, Stuttgart. Back to the top of the lineup. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Wander Franco. That one's in there, 0-1. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Next offering is in for a strike. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. And down on strikes, two away. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him up. You know, it's hard to get the bat around the on bat. a pitch like that in the tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's one he definitely should have laid off of. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Rays, Harold Ramirez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And it's even up. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Stays alive. The pitch on the ground and foul ball. Comes the two-two and a foul ball. He stays alive. And there's a foul ball. The 2-2. That one just misses. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And the pitch. Out to short. Whips it to Mountcastle. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Down in order, go the Rays. 
Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, number 36. And the pitch. Adley Rutschman. Close, but called the ball. 1 and 0. Oh. The why to kick the pitch. Jack swing went around. That's strike one. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Up next for the Orioles, the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sheets makes the play, two down. Now batting, designated hitter, DJ Stewart. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, DJ Stewart. And that one wrapped foul. A one down. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Meadows makes the catch, and that'll do it. Orioles held in check there, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, here's Austin Riley. Leading off for the Rays, the third baseman, Austin Riley. The wind of the pitch. Nope. Check swing. No appeal. And that's ball one. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Can't glove it cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Well, he's doing a nice job no of matter. keeping Number the eight. ball out of the air. Second Let's the defense man. work behind Brandon. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Wow. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. Second in the AL in home runs. That hits the dirt. Ball one. And now it's even up. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Next offering is foul back. Next one in the dirt. One down, base is empty. And it's filled up. Oh. 
swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Now batting, first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets next to hit for the Rays. Hard hit, left side. Slides, but it gets by him. Now batting, left fielder. Now it's Austin Meadows doubled his first time up. Center field, Mullins drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that will end the inning. The Rays strand just the one. They're down 1 0. And welcome back. Top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. Leading off and Warriors. leading it off, Rugnet Odor. Rugnet Odor. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. That's back there. Right on the warning track. The batter. That was an impressive running catch out there, Chris. Stackcast tells us he covered well over 100 feet to make that grab. Clearly, that was not an easy play. I mean, he took a great angle to the ball and just had enough closing speed in the tank after that long run to make the catch. <laughs> it was a wild ride, but a lot of fun to watch. And now it's going to be Ramon Urias in there in its own one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. The wind and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Ball one. The count is one and two. Back to the mound. Sneaks through, base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Jorge. Jorge Mateo, Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. That's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, clearly now he was ready to hit right the there. Field. Nice job of driving Cedric. that pitch the other way oh. on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yo won. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. And now one and two. One out. Runners at first and second. The next offering misses. And it's two and two. And there's two away. And now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch, not close. 
Urias over at second. Mateo at first. Two out of the inning. Throws across the diamond. And that is that. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles one. The Rays nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, here's a big power threat. Nelson Cruz. All oh, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And he deals. Off the plate inside. And that is ball one. The pitch. Slapped foul. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Bounce to the right. Over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now back. The catcher. Mike Zunino. Mike Zunino. Next to hit for the race. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. Well, that's the money maker right there. Oh, two strikes, Bay. slider down it's and away from a same side Bay. thrower as the hitter. Vance is tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes, and very difficult to lay off. Here's Kiermaier now, grounded out his first time. And that one sliced foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Rays held in check here. They still trail 1-0. We're back, and, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Ryan Thompson. And he'll do his best to keep this close. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back now in Tampa Bay, top of the sixth inning at the play. Anthony Santander. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. The pitch. In for a strike. Strike one. Bullpen movement for the Rays. JT Shagwa up and loosening in the pen. Fairbanks getting loose as well. Slice the other way and foul. pitch liner to second it picked on the hop sends it over to sheets now one gone in the top of the sixth 
Now batting the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. And first offering is fouled off. To third. Tosses across the first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Now Good sinker low in the zone lead. right there and produced Austin. exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Austin Hayes. The next to hit for the Orioles. And the first offering is not close. And here it comes. That one inside. And that's ball two. Right-handed reliever. That clips the corner. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two outs. Stays alive. Here comes a pinch. That misses. Full count now. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Orioles one, the Rays nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now batting Wander Franco. Leading off for the Rays. The shortstop. Wander. Rodriguez back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Next one is off the plate. And it's one and one. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Next pitch misses, and it's a full count. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake the team up with the free pass. Harold Ramirez at the dish. One for two. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And the right hater deals. Nope. One and one. Franco on at first. Nobody out. 
Next one is off the play. Two and one. And the righty deals. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A two-run homer. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 2-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Grayson Rodriguez done for the afternoon, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Jorge Lopez please. taking now over on the mound. He's into the game with the Number bases 48. empty. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Now the batter now, Austin Riley. The batter, the third baseman, Austin. First pitch Riley. just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Right hander kicks deals. And that's in for a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice no line drive to pull side, Second met it out front, man. but just stayed Brand through it man. nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Lau at the plate. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Rudder at first with no outs here. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Next pitch is outside. And now two and two. In the dirt. Back safely. Nobody out. Runner at first. Good nope. plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And here's the first, the first baseman, baseman, Gavin Sheets. Gavin. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. First offering misses the mark. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. First and second here, no outs. To the right side. The throw to second. Return throw, gets him at first. It's a 3-6-1 double play. 
The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Here is Austin Meadows. In there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And one and two. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And that one got a piece of him. He had a 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Cruz in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Corners are occupied with two down. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Next offering is foul back. At the belt and fires. Lopez gets the swing of the miss. Good job of damage control right there. The Rays with a two-run homer. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. All set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, DJ Stewart. The designated hitter, DJ Stewart. And the right hitter back to work. Going one. Next offering is foul back. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Righty to the plate. Ground ball up the middle. Franco on to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now batting. Singing an impressive Three jump head. throw from the hole Three. at short. Let's see what StatCast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. And that's in there for strike one. Odor lifts one deep to right. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, shortstop, Ramon Urias. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. 
Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And the 0-1. Soft contact in the air. Throws to first, and that is that. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And our score remains 2-1. Welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Zunino. Leading off for the Rays, the catcher, Mike Zunino. The wind of the pitch. They say it went. Next offering way off the plate. And it's fouled away. The wide to kick the pitch. I got to kill. Two and two. Rip to third. And that's just foul. Here's the 2 2. And a foul ball. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And there's one down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He no, just hasn't fielder. looked very comfortable Evans. up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game. At least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Kevin Kiermeyer next to hit for the Rays. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. That hits the dirt, and now 2-0. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And that one fouled off. Two and one now. And there's a the ball. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And there's ball four. Now it's the shortstop, shortstop. Wander Franco. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kiermaier, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Just missed. The 2-1. Fought off foul. Throw over the first. Two, two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Three and two now. Foul ball there. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three two on the way. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three two now. And ball four to a board. Up next for Tampa Bay. Up next for Tampa Bay. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue to finish off this hitter. Ball one there. The 1-1. One, one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two on, one out. Base hit, center field. Here comes the runner. Check that. He'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. The run comes in to score from second, and they lead by two. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now up for Tampa Bay, Austin Riley. And he's already singled in this game. In there for strike one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The 0-1. Next offering is outside. First and third, one down. In the dirt, blocked. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one hooked foul. Double play ball to second. Throw and it gets away. Second baseman definitely have some pretty tough throws to make when they're trying to feed the shortstop at second for a double play turn because of the angles and difficult footwork. So it's always a difficult play, but one that needs to be made. When your pitcher gets you that ground ball that can be a double play, it's a killer when you can't get at least one out of it. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Keegan Aiken. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. Now batting the second baseman, Brandon. First pitch, and he wow. just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. The lefty ready and a 1 1. That one catches the corner for a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to oh, hit, and just couldn't get to it. I think the that slider baseman. really caught yeah, way man. more of the plate than it was supposed to. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Gavin Sheets. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a 
and a pitch. Here's a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. The 1 1 is upstairs, and a count 2 and 1. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off two and two. And a pitch. That one is hammered right field. That's back there. Holy Toledo! Gavin Sheets goes deep. Homer number 25 of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 7-1. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Austin Meadows now. Now batting. The left fielder. To Austin. the right side. Meadows. Mateo sends it to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning, but not before five cross the plate. With a big blow being this, three run homer. And the lead is stretched to 7-1. New inning getting started, and into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Leading Mateo. Baltimore, the second baseman, Jorge Mateo. The pitch. A swing and a soft liner. Sheets makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Now batting, the center fielder. Cedric Mullins. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. Here's your one. Ground ball right side. Sheets takes it to the bag. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Mountcastle. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Now fly ball to right center. Cruz going back on this one. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Now batting, the right fielder, Anthony Now it's the Santander. switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. And a pitch. 
edge of the zone for a strike and a count two and one. Man on second, two down. That clips the corner. On the ground to short. Sends it over to Sheets, and that'll do it. One left for the Orioles. They're down seven to one. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a cleaner house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. I ain't new to what I'm about. Back here at the ballpark, onto the bottom of the eighth, and now the right fielder, and Nelson Cruz. For the red, the right fielder, Nelson. The pitch. Nope. That's down and in. Ball. And another ball. Two balls, no strike. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And fouled off. Up the middle, base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big now part of the field. Man, there are a the lot of hits there. Mike. And at first, and here's the catcher, Mike Zunino. And a foul ball, third base side. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one back there. Holy Toledo! Mike Zanino pops one out of here. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 9-1. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Connor Green, the new pitcher. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And stepping in for the Rays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Now batting. Center fielder, Kevin. Pitch misses oh, inside. One and oh. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. And here it comes. On the ground to third. Odor throw to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter, number five. Here's another Good look with StatCast singing. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close. And I think we need to credit that 88 mile per hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. Wander Franco next to hit for the Rays. And first offering is fouled off.
Right handed reliever. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Stays alive. The pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Ramirez stands in now and watches strike one. Franco leads off first with one away. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Line drive caught. Now batting, the third baseman, Austin Riley. So two down now, and here is Austin Riley. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. Get high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Austin Riley goes deep. Homer number 25 of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 11-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the ditch. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Woke up in my crib, still look fabulous. Sipping all night, I don't need an ambulance. It's another day, and it's still no stress, so I'm heading downtown. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. A strikeout and a walk. The batter, number eight, second baseman, Brandon. First off, oh, and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. So two balls and no strikes. Two a count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. 2-0. That one fouled off. Next pitch just misses. Three and two now. You know, with the shift on, pits right into it. Quips it to Mountcastle. Lau out on the play. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. Smile, some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff. JT Shagwa will take over now here, and he's got a nice lead to work number with. 84. JT Shagwa. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. The catcher, number 36. 
at least. Rush bell. And a pitch. And there's the strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets a head and a count. And the right hander deals. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. That one misses in the dirt. This one chopped up the middle. To first, Rutschman retired. Now back, left fielder, Austin Hayes. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And that's in there for strike one. Righty delivers. Rolled over to third. Riley fires the first. And the Orioles down to their final out. Good arm side run to that oh, same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get DJ. through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, DJ Stewart. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering in the dirt, and the count is one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, two and two. And he deals. And that misses off the outside edge. And there's a foul ball. Two outs, and that's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So two down, Rupnet Odor digs in now. Foul ball. Next pitch, way upstairs. Stewart, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is outside. That's 
Next one misses three and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And down on strikes, and that'll do it. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. An 11-1 five for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. For the victorious Rays, 11 runs, 10 hits, no errors, they left five men on base. For the Orioles, one run, five hits, one error, they left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safe.